Hey everyone, a quick uh, kind of unboxing and first impressions of a couple of items that I ordered from Jackson's. You'll probably laugh <laughs> when you see this if you know me and, uh, is, and are familiar with this channel. Um, so I got two small palettes and I know it's completely um, out of character. This is my current palette and I think it houses about 50 <laughs> colors <laughs> and I love it and I'm really really used to it by now and uh, I think if I manage to do any traveling this, this summer I think I will take it with me but I don't know, I was curious and so I got these. So let's uh, open them together. I did just break the seal here. So this is the portable painter, um, what's it called? M micro, micro. And if you're familiar with the portable painter, I actually have it and like the original one. And I, I think it's a great concept but something about like the whole setup of it i think it just i don't know it's just easier to grab a palette than kind of start opening it and assembling it but i think with a lot of these things it just once you get into the habit of using something it kind of becomes um, natural to you and not a problem but i was just really curious and I don't know, I think maybe I'll set up this palette and take it outside or something just to, um, yeah, for the fun of it. Uh, obviously the biggest challenge would be picking six colors. So this fits, you can see it fits either six half pans or you can fit um, two full pans and two half pans, <laughs> making it a four color palette which is even more ridiculous for me <laughs> so there you go and um yeah let's take a look at it so first impression you know it's plastic but it does look and feel like nice plastic so the top just comes off and then i guess i guess i could read the instructions yeah so it comes off and then you have the palette and then you do what do we do so it says real time <laughs> then you attach the palette i guess oh this is the water container open snap remove lid remove palette attach water container attach lid open palette okay attach water container attach lid oops okay so that's fairly simple five and six open palette seven so there we have this t-shaped finger grip I don't know. There's no photo of finger. It's kind of small for a finger. Guess you can hold it like this. Hmm. Okay, like this, like this, something like this. I guess they have a video or something. And here we have the pans. It doesn't say accepts liquid or solid colors, plenty of mixing wells, so you could put the water here or use this as a mixing area and then you have these areas and this area. So I would say, you know, you probably paint pretty small <laughs> for this palette, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, it seems uh, nicely built the plastic feels okay uh, not amazing but you know that's plastic for you 
and again it has that whole thing that you have to kind of like set it up right you can't just like open it you have to open it and start assembling things and yeah so I don't know I will let's take another look yeah I don't know how these okay yeah okay they come out they have uh, like this little tacky dot hey Pinka and yeah it's pretty easy to remove them okay Okay, so it's the next day. I don't know what I actually, where I stopped <laughs> recording. I guess we'll find out <laughs> in uh, editing. Anyway, what I would like to hear from you is which colors would you include in uh, a six uh, paint set? I would love to know. I'm thinking ultramarine blue. Um, then, you know, probably need a, some sort of yellow. I, I have to say I'm a bit conflicted. Probably before my whole adventures with these seasonal palettes, I would have uh, said Nickel Azo yellow, but I don't know. Maybe I actually, I love uh, Naples yellow, but I think it might be a bit too limiting uh, in a six color palette so maybe something like Turner's yellow which to me is a little bit um, brighter than Naples yellow I don't know and then cobalt violet cobalt teal can I really live without them and then a pink um, yeah probably quinacridone rose or bright rose I don't know let me know what you would put and then I would need a dark maybe lunar black or dusk pink because I'm obsessed with that color. Yeah, let me know. Okay, so let's move on to something else which was completely, yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. I really, <laughs> I was just curious. So this is the Etcher Mini palette. You might have seen this, uh, the original one or the first one that they brought out had like 30 wells which even for me I mean I really love using a lot of colors or having a palette with a lot of colors but I thought that was just like yeah I I really paint with a lot of like juicy paint I would have to refill that every second and then what's the point uh, but then I saw that they came out with this version which I have to say like I don't know if the size is smaller so that basically these wells are still the same size like that 30 something um, maybe maybe that's how it is I don't know I don't have that one I thought it was um, yeah just not the right one for me but because I love <laughs> ceramic palettes I was really curious and I am toying with the idea of taking this with me to Italy if we manage to go I'm so scared to say it because <laughs> things change so fast now uh, I, I really love the using a ceramic ceramical ceramic palette and this one is you know a mini one that would in theory it looks like it would travel well and you know not break so yeah I will have to I will fill it and I will test it so I don't want to tell you you know this is not worth your money or it is worth your money um, it's for me it's one of those like weird <laughs> 
weird supplies but <laughs> one of the um, fun things about having a YouTube channel is that you know sometimes I really want to try things and uh, review them and just share my thoughts and hopefully you know save money for uh, other like save other people's money <laughs> not mine just other people's <laughs> So yeah, Etcher is a company, it's based in Australia, if I remember correctly. This is, oh, okay, this is designed in California, manufactured in China. I thought Etcher was Australian, uh, which they still can be. And um, yeah, I want to show you, okay, should I show you? Okay, just, just let's take a moment. I was saving this for my pretty art supplies video which I do still plan on making but I ordered this from uh, a pottery artist in Italy and she offers several of these these are you might have seen the little uh, brush uh, rest thing in my videos or thumbnails but this is the palette so you have here this um, area where you can mix color or squeeze in paint and then here you can put water or use it as a mixing surface this is absolutely beautiful i bought it i don't think for me for the way that i paint it's the most useful i really bought it because i thought it would look uh, pretty on uh, images for social media which you know it's not a part of my job that i particularly enjoy but if I want people to find my channel and enjoy my videos and maybe take my classes, I do have to be on social media. So uh, I thought this would be just like super, super cute. And I haven't used it yet, but it's the prettiest thing. This I would never take with me on a trip, but I was worried it'll bre break in transit on its way to me, but it was perfectly uh, packaged. I think when you offer such things, um, you know, delivered worldwide, you have to know how to properly package them. She has so many adorable palettes. I will link you to them. They are very pricey. I really just wanted this uh, for the way that it looks. And I think it would be an amazing gift. I think it's great to support a local, well, she's not in Austria, but uh, still very close in Italy and I'm sure that you know their uh, economy like everywhere else has suffered greatly so if I can do something like this to support a local artist I'm really uh, happy to do that and uh, yeah I really need to use this but so I got this and it just reminded me how beautiful it is to paint with uh, these kind of palettes now you absolutely don't need anything fancy like that one or even this one which is also quite pricey um, you can get uh, these simple ceramic plates in every art store and you can buy also just white dishes or white like sushi plates um, there are beautiful designs out there and they will set you back probably just a few dollars or a few euros but um, yeah, I just think these items are pretty. I think they look good in photos, which sometimes helps to just kind of draw people's attention to, you know, my thumbnails or my photos. So that was um, kind of the reason I really, I can't tell you, I think this is like such an amazing uh, product. I have to use it. And, you know, if I enjoy it, then I will wholeheartedly recommend it. Uh, you can see that it comes with these um, like foam protectors and then also this watercolor paper where you can swatch whatever paints you're putting in the palette so this has 19 wells and um, yeah I don't know I think I will probably I don't think this will be the only palette that I take with me I think I would be too worried that I would run out of paint. I'm guessing I will just take my trusty palette. I'm so used to it by now. I use it every single day. I've used it every single day since um, since I set it up with the spring palette. So it's just, you know, uh, like <laughs> a safe safety blanket. I'm so used to it. But uh, I do think I'll try and fill this with... Uh, maybe some colors that I think would work well for the Italian countryside. Um, so we'll see about that. Which reminds me I should maybe consider picking up a few new paints before I embark 
on that journey it's getting kind of tight because delivery times from Jackson's are quite um, long these days so I don't know uh, if you have any suggestions for colors you think I should take with me or get for um, you know drawing the Italian countryside please let me know in the comments so this is just a very you know chatty um, first impressions uh, I can't tell you anything about what I think about these but yeah very very different kind of palettes um, I don't know I have to test them and see how I feel about them so thank you so much for watching bye